Hello and welcome back to the channel. I took a little bit of time and did some research, was digging into the Victron and uh, the touchscreen and also a couple other comments I received. Um, thank you for that, also for helping me figure out um, how we can make it possible to have a touchscreen connected or display with touchscreen connected to the Raspberry Pi and how that works. Um, it's not this video. In this video, we will do a first kind of requirement before we will configure the touchscreen that it will look like a GX touch. So anyways, in this video, I will show you how to enable SSH in order to activate on the touchscreen itself with the Raspberry Pi connected um, to remote console as well as then it's not remote anymore anymore, right? <laughs> Uh, but also the GX touch surface basically. That means when it's activated, we need some kind of way to still access our Raspberry Pi in order to do changes, you know, like updates. We want to just access something, and that's basically on the Linux level. So we'll enable SSH, which is super simple, and I don't want to talk more about it. I just want to show you how it works and we'll lead you through that super simple, super easy, and uh, I'll show you my system now. Okay, we have like two options. We can work on the Raspberry Pi to activate SSH. As mentioned, super simple. One option is we go straight to the device, plug in a wireless keyboard, and we'll do everything on the device itself. Only if you do not have a touchscreen connected to it and it's activated already. If you have a little Raspberry Pi touchscreen, seven inch or whatever they have, or whatever size it is, um, like this one above here, um, it might be activated already and you don't need a keyboard connected to the Raspberry Pi. That's number one. Option number two is we will use the remote console. And we can use the remote console either. We know the IP address in our local network, like I have here. This is my local network uh, IP address for the Raspberry Pi. Or we go into the VRM portal and open the VRM con remote console. Two options. It's almost three options, to be honest, but um, I'll continue here in my browser right now. I've connected here to the remote console. As uh, you remember, there's not a lot of stuff connected right now. And we'll continue from here. What do you do next? It cannot be simpler, <laughs> to be honest. Um, we go into settings, so I'll use the cursor. I'll, I'll use, actually, let me use the mouse and you can see it what I'm using on the keyboard almost. Oh, we'll go into settings, we'll go into general, and now we want to go into access level. And before you click it, we have to press the cursor to right a couple seconds. So I'll try it with the mouse. It was like five or six seconds, I think. Now you can see we're accessing a super user level. What do you need to do? You need to set a password. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I think yours might look a little different. What you need to do is set root password. So um, you can use your space. And now you can just type in here. Obviously, I'm not telling you my password. You need to activate it with this little check uh, symbol. And SSH on LAN. That's important. Activate it. It needs to be activated. It cannot be simpler. Did I say that? You know, you, you've done that everything. You can even go back first if you want to. You can even do a reboot if you want to. Um, mine did not require that. So the next thing is to drive SSH is activated. It means type in the IP address, the local IP address you have, because now you need to be in your network, obviously somewhere, and you need to have access to your Raspberry Pi. So figure out what IP address it has. Uh, multiple ways to do that. Yeah, either you go to your router, figure out the IP address. If not, let's go here in settings. Let's see what we have. Uh, what was it? Wi-Fi here we go. Let's see, it's connected. I want to see which IP address, what IP address I have. And here's the IP address. Easy. Okay, let's go. Let's go back into Putty now. Um, I'm using Putty free, and it's just super capable. What I, what we need it for. So you type in your IP address. I have it saved even down there. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'll click open, and immediately I can see login as already. That's a really good sign. As you know, we are super user in Victron's world, uh, which is on Linux world root. So I'll type in root, type enter. 
it's important you use now the password you just set so <laughs> i hope you didn't forget about that and it will not show up here so please uh, for people who are not really experienced with this um putty they don't show passwords even though you type you type in they don't show any single star or whatever so i typed it in hit enter and I have access. Magic. Guys, that's already all I want to show you. What we're going to do in the next video is enabling the touch screen, enabling the GX touch surface. We'll go from there. So this is the requirement, the first step, because um, as soon as we activate it, I have not figured out yet, but maybe you know it, I have not figured out yet how to deactivate it on the touch screen with a connected keyboard. So that's why I'm activating now as it's age that we always can disable and enable the surface for of the gx touch that's gonna be all and maybe there are other reasons you need this um i'm pretty sure we'll figure out a couple other reasons connecting sensors uh, configuring sensors etc etc but that will make it already way easier and if you want to stay tuned with uh, the touch screen enabling with the gx touch uh, from, of victron Please feel free to subscribe to the video. I would also like to see some likes on the video if you liked it. And always feel free to comment. I try to answer all comments I can. Also, if I make a mistake, my, I'm really sorry. I'm just figuring things out. And uh, as someone said, uh, I'm doing the footwork a little bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm going with the flow. And uh, if there's something I can improve, let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and it helps you on your journey to configure your Victron system. Tschüss.